All right, good afternoon, everybody. I just wanted to kind of document a few observations that I've had in regards to my first automatic switchover from battery power to grid power. Uh, Solar Assistant, I have programmed in to switch, which I'll show you that here in a minute, but it's going to switch at a certain state of charge. Now, the 6500s have the ability to do this based on voltage, but with lithium iron phosphate batteries, there's just no easy way to say this voltage equals this state of charge. State of charge is the best way that you're going to be able to know exactly how much power you have in your batteries. At least that's my understanding from watching and listening to all these solar guys that actually know what they're talking about. Because we know I don't. <laughs> We're going to step into solar assistant here and I'm going to walk you through a few different observations at a few different times to just kind of show you what I've seen with this first switch. Uh, I still plan on going through and, and trying to video the actual switch happening to show you what flickers, you know, what are you going to see in your house when you have loads running, what are you going to notice? So I'm still going to go through and do that. I'm going to try to set up as many cameras as I can on as many different loads as possible to be able to show you how they're going to react. All right, it's a fairly crummy day outside, as you can see. You can see the batteries at 31%. We've got a 500 watt load down here and we've got, you know, 570 watts coming out of the battery and only 88 watts of solar. So yesterday I went through and I actually enabled this feature, which should automatically switch my inverters to solar utility battery once the state of charge drops below 30%. And you can set this to be specific times a day, but I just want it right now, a flat rate. If it drops below 30%, I want it to switch back to the grid. And then it will come back to battery power once the battery gets up to 60%. Because I know overnight, typically my battery might use 30%, maybe. Uh, it kind of depends on how cold it is. It might use you know, 20, might use 30, but I figure th giving it that 30% buffer is going to be a, a good starting point to at least play around with. So while I'm hoping to actually see what happens as it happens, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it on recording. Uh, this should, once this drops to, I believe, 29%, everything should switch over to grid. This battery down here should zero out, and then we should see the load coming across the grid line. I'm going to do a separate video on, on manually doing that switch so that I can get all the camera shots of trying to see how the digital clocks and, you know, the internet hardware and all that kind of stuff reacts because it should be a near instantaneous switch, which doesn't affect anything, but we're gonna find out. And I'll update once this first switch actually happens, but I have the ability to be able to manually make that change right in here by hitting this button and it'll let me change it for, you know, 30 minutes over to grid. And so I'll do another comprehensive video showing the actual results. All right, we just hit 30%. So if it's dropping 1.8% an hour, it should end up being, I don't know, before 1.30. Well, if it's dropping almost 2% an hour, 1% and a half hour, da 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 da, da I don't know, maybe by 1 o'clock. If you can't tell, I'm not that good at math. <laughs> but uh, kind of excited to see how it works, how how fast it switches and what it does. So I will update you once it makes the change over. Well, the switch was just made. You can see now that grid power is being utilized for the loads. I'm assuming the battery power is being utilized for just the inverter fans. Honestly, I really wish that it wasn't, 
but it seems like solar is trying to provide a little bit towards the battery. I don't, I, I'd have to sit and study it for a little while to see how it's actually working. But uh, I saw a flicker. My UPS underneath my desk clicked. In fact, it's still clicking, which is kind of annoying because it doesn't do it when on inverter only mode. So there's something with this pass through mode that it does not like. So I'll have to play around and see if I can determine how things are working. You can see up here it says solar and grid mode. So I imagine solar power is going first to the loads and then to the grid. But I don't know if that's the case, how anything would be still going into the battery. But like I said, I got to dig in and figure all that out. So another observation while charging from solar, when you're in solar grid mode, as you see right here in the inverter. Apparently I can't highlight that. All right, up here, solar and grid mode. That would lead me to believe that power comes from solar first and then comes from grid. I believe the inverters classify it as um, SUB is the option, solar utility back battery. Um, but here's the odd thing. So we've got 1,075 watts of PV coming in, 680 watts going into the battery. 417 watts for a load, and yet we're still drawing from grid. So I'm not quite sure why. I don't know if that is uh, specifically something related to this option here. Um, because it did switch to solar utility battery once it hit 29% yesterday. So I'm just curious as to why, if solar is supposed to be the initial priority, why are we still pulling power from the grid instead of using the solar power, then using the grid power, and then falling back to battery power? Now, another oddity is, let's see here, battery power. All right, so if you look at this, graph here yesterday right around 120 ish uh, the grid bypass went into effect and so you can see here's here's the sun um, trying to charge some of the battery a little bit but then the sun went out completely and we still have this 63 64 watt draw coming from the battery which doesn't make any sense and here it changed around 5 a.m it changed to you know only 48 45 volts but why do we have any draw coming from the battery i know i have my smart shunt between the batteries and the inverters and i also have my raspberry pi which is set up using a buck converter, which takes the 52, 48 volts and drops it down to five volts. But that doesn't account for 60 some volts of power being drained from the battery. I mean, the smart shunts, what a watt, if that, and the Raspberry Pis, three to four so i don't know where this extra power is coming from and this is the reading coming from my smart shunt so it's what's actually being taken out of the batteries so just another observation we dropped from 29% yesterday down to 26 because of that 
for 64 volt or 64 watt uh, draw. Well, at any point in time, the unit should be switching from solar grid battery to solar battery grid or SUB to SBU. Setting is set to 60%. So once it switches to 61%, uh, it should switch modes. Okay, so I wanted to take a look at this problem that I've that I've noticed. So I'm going to zoom in on on yesterday right around the sunny time of the day. Okay, so we can see here we've got a lot of yellow is the PV, red is grid and blue is load. This stuff is supposed to be in solar utility backup mode. You can see all this solar 3.4 kilowatts and yet there's still 340 watt load coming off of the grid and i've i've verified this using my sense home monitoring app which is still tied to my main grid panel it's still drawing power from the grid even when all this solar is available now benefit of the doubt there's two inverters two separate arrays and two separate loads. So we'll scroll down here to PV power. Actually, let's scroll back up. We're looking at a time range of, let's just say 1250 to one o'clock. So if I scroll down here to PV power and look at 1250 to one o'clock, both inverters are pulling more than a kilowatt of power. Inverter 1 is 2.25, and inverter 2 is 1.17. Both of those numbers are significantly higher than the 300 watts coming off the grid. So why is the grid still being utilized when there's so much solar? I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And even the front face plate of the inverters has the LED, which shows you the current primary source that's being used for power. It's all white. It's, it's not showing yellow for the solar or anything. It's just all the power is getting dumped into the battery, which completely defies the settings of the inverter. So I really don't know what's going on. I have a ticket open with Signature Solar trying to determine why this is happening. And right now I'm just in a waiting pattern, waiting to see what they come back with. When I'm in solar battery utility mode, everything works fine. Everything works like it should. It uses solar first, then it uses the battery. But not when it's in solar utility battery mode. And I did look at the inverters themselves. The inverters have switched priorities to solar utility battery. And yet, it almost seems like even though you see the setting SUB for solar utility battery, it's almost like it's using USB, utility solar battery. And even with the draw coming out of the battery still, it's almost like it's utility battery solar. So I really don't know what's going on. I'm just waiting to hear back what they have to say. And as soon as the unit switched over back to SBU mode, you can see the grid went down to zero. And my load is solely being provided by solar. So why in, in SUB mode 
is my load not being provided for by solar? It's only dumping into the battery. All right, well, that was just a, a few of the observations that I've had during this, this first switch over. It still bothers me with the fact that it switches over to solar utility backup, and yet it's not using solar to provide power to the loads. I know I've, I've harped on that quite a bit in, in this short video, but it, it's, it's annoying when the system says that it should use solar as its first priority and then use utility and it's not doing it, there's an issue. And both inverters are set the exact same way. So if there's a setting problem, it's set wrong in both inverters, but I don't know what it is. I would assume that all Solar Assistant is doing is just triggering the actual priority change. And I was even on the phone with Signature Solar walking through different steps and I went to the inverters and I manually switched the inverters to solar battery utility and everything switched properly. And solar was providing power to the loads. But as soon as I switched back to solar utility battery, the grid took over. And, and I can see it in the, the grid details and the logs in solar resistant. It's... It's just dumping the power into the battery, which, you know, okay, that's good. It's recharging my batteries, but I'd rather it take a little longer to recharge my batteries and use the solar to compensate for the loads at this current time. So I guess we will wait and see what comes back from uh, Signature Solar. And with that, I'll let you guys go. I still have, like I said, to work on that video where I can try and capture the actual change with the different devices. So I've got to kind of steal all the cameras and phones and, and anything with a camera, basically, uh, from everyone in my house to try and record those changes. But I'm going to try and get that done quickly so that I can show you guys what you can expect if, it, if you have yours set up. To switch automatically from the battery to grid power or in some cases generator power so you all have a good day and we'll catch up with you later